Welcome to York Reacts, and today we're going to be checking out a new game trailer from Will Smith. Now, this is something completely out of <laughs> out of left field, as they would say. I don't know, man. I, I heard that Will Smith is making a video game, and I went, what? I had to, like, do a double take and be like, what? <laughs> You're kidding, right? This is not April 1st. <laughs> so, apparently, Will Smith... Apparently, Will Smith is making a video game, and apparently this game is called Undawn. Now... I looked, I looked at it, and it looks pretty decent. And the developer behind it is called Lightspeed Studios. Now, if you look at Lightspeed Studios, they've done some really interesting work over the years. And recently, like, if you check this out right, right here. We're fifth. We're at a Playa Vista office. They're doing a motion capture kind of shoot here. And I want to show this off here because this, this is all in real time. And this is being captured in unreal engine with the metahuman so check That's this out working and if you see right there ah okay, today is october 5th we're at a playa vista office doing this the live so stream cool. to metahuman so now what we have going is that a face show going so let me go closer to the camera everybody can see it see that's working and if you see right there wow <laughs> -E o Wow. Oh, yeah. Right stream. Oh, yeah. Stream Who's right this? onto Josh's uh, facial. So now, not only that, we also have finger working. Wow. You see that? Okay. Okay. First of all, <laughs> that's really impressive because usually when you motion capture, okay, I've been doing this a very, 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 very long time, okay? And when you motion capture fingers, they never look really realistic and they, and you can see his finger like hyper extending right there on the, on the, um, uh, the ring finger. Now, but other than that, got it's, finger, got face. it's, it's moving them individually pretty well. And usually you don't see that. So this light speed studios might have something under their belt that might be really good to, to really make this game shine. So if you are new to my channel, I do video game development for a living. I'm an animator. I've been working on some really cool games over the years like God of War Ragnarok and Grand Theft Auto and a bunch of cool stuff. So hopefully I can break down this little new trailer that Will Smith is bringing to the table here and we can bring something new and I can kind of give you guys something that you've never seen before in another video. So let's dive in and let's take a look at this trailer, baby. I know what you're thinking. Anybody would kill to have this view. At least that's what I tell myself every day. I mean, every damn day. And no, you're not dreaming. All right, we're gonna watch this all the way through and then I'm gonna break it down in slow mo. So let's take a look. Here, you're free to go anywhere. If you want to explore, you can escape into the wilderness. I thought this was a game. Best of all, you can find peace and quiet under the stars. <laughs> Can't beat a breakfast you caught yourself. Let's see. <laughs> you can fry them, grill them, okay. so or smoke them if you got them. You got your choice of wheels. Some are more selfie friendly than others. Now this is hot. Hell yeah. Sometimes you need a little more horsepower. Some awesome ah, dope, right? But um, there is one thing okay, here we go. the here neighbors kind of suck. Is this a zombie game? They really suck. They do not respect boundaries. They'll chew you up <laughs> and won't spit you out. We survivors have a problem with that. We are not your dinner. Period. Ooh, that looks <laughs> What the? Jesus. This is Will Smith, and I'm waiting for you in Undawn. Uh, what, dude? <laughs> what did I just watch? What did I just watch? <laughs> what the? Okay, let's break this down, even though this is, I feel like I'm getting trolled right now. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna slow motion this. Slow motion for me. And let's take a look and see what 
kind of <laughs> what this game is bringing. First of all, a lot of this is just live action stuff here. Um, it's interesting to bring a game trailer kind of to the masses and most of it being live action. I've seen um, Call of Duty do this one time and it, it, it sort of worked really well, but in this case, it, it's it's just... I don't know. I feel like he's used a lot of this live action footage because he didn't want to show a lot of the game because a lot of the game isn't finished yet. I'm not sure. Um, he's also a celebrity, so him being on camera and talking about this stuff is really good. So I, it's a good play either way. So it's, it's just kind of hard to judge. But that being said, looks like a zombie apocalypse style uh, survival game, especially when he talks about grilling, you know, t grilling your own food and you're going to be able to ride in a bike or a car. It seems like that's what he's hinting towards. Now, one thing I found interesting uh, animation wise. Um, now, this is just coming from someone who's done animation for a long time. So I'm seeing like a critique and that type of thing. But one thing that's nice is this transition comes through here and it goes right through her eyeball Whoosh. and if you've seen my channel before there's a bunch of different videos that i've shown that do this and as a transition and it's it's always really cool to like zoom through the eye but animation here um when we have these characters kind of eating this corpse or whatever they're they're doing here the zombie that's in the middle on the bottom his hand does this weird thing where it like shifts over and it, and right now it's completely locked down. So if you looked at his right hand, it looks like it's kind of like cemented to the um to the guy right here. See that? Like his whole arm moves around but his hand just stays there. And that's because it, he's in 3D, he's parented the hand to the thing. He's basically like linked the hand hundred percent so everything's moving around but the hand is just staying still and that's a little weird it needs to the hand still needs to kind of move around and adjust um and then right here if you see it the hand just kind of i'll show you bink i don't know why the hand just moves over like that there's no reason to for it to do that it should just kind of sit there uh for animation wise another thing here is you can tell that the the hand is following the gun instead of the gun following the hand because you can see the gun like move a certain way and then the hand just kind of like follows it and that's not what you want to do you want to have the gun follow the hand but it feels like right here that the, that it's a little bit the opposite and if you look at this character here in the background um this girl her hand is going right into the gun see this it's kind of clipping the gun here Oh, you can't see it. My head's in the way. There we go. All right, so let me go back here again, and we'll play this one little section, because if you look at this girl's hand, it's not quite on the gun. It's kind of sinking into the gun. See that? You can see it with her hand. And then it looks like she's going to reach down here and grab the handle. And as she's, like, grabbing the handle, it looks like her hand is just going right into the gun. These are little things that they're going to have to like fix along the way for this game. But they've got a good start on it, it looks like. It looks like they've really kind of got a good jump on the game and they got a good celebrity behind it and all that great stuff. Another thing that jumped out me, <laughs> another thing that jumped out is this foot. So if you look at this foot, when it comes and places on the ground, it's actually not on the ground. See that? It's like floating above the ground by like an inch. Because <laughs> you can tell, boom, see this? It's in the water. It feels good now, like on the floor. But either way, you know what? This, this trailer looks pretty good. One thing I really, really like is this spot right here where they show Will Smith. He looks um, really good. It looks like they they didn't use metahuman they went in and made like a custom will smith character um using a metahuman mesh as a base so in order to use metahuman um let me just go to a bigger screen here so in order to use metahuman you have to make sure that you're using like the same type of kind of uh mesh i believe um i'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works and 
basically they probably start with a metahuman character and then they export that out into like Maya or a ZBrush or some kind of program. And then they change it up to look exactly like Will Smith. So that it has the same amount of polygons. It has the same kind of mesh as the metahuman. That way when you put face wear data on it, when you put kind of motion capture and different things that you use inside the Unreal Engine, when you do that inside this, this thing, it works a lot better because it takes on the metahuman kind of bone structure and the things that they're using in the game engine. Hopefully that makes kind of sense, but that's how I think that they're doing it here. Because if you sit down and download Unreal and try to make Will Smith in the Unreal Engine editor, you probably won't get there. You'll get really close, but you, it won't look like this. And that, So that's why I think that they're doing something similar, but not all the way. They're not actually using just the metahuman creator. Um, but it looks really good. I love the way it looks. Like, he looks great. And his posse here, the people around him look pretty cool. This is kind of strange. This character here looks really low polygon. Like, if you look at his face mask and all that stuff, it really looks like a 100 polygons. It looks really, really low poly. Look at his hair. The hair, like, looks really, really low. The jacket. His jacket looks really low resolution as well, right here. And then one other thing I noticed is when he curls up to hit this guy, <laughs> look at his fingers. His fingers are curled really weird. See that? They need to be straightened more um, when he's gripping it. They're, they're turned really weird and rotated kind of strange. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it looks kind of weird. Because you wouldn't grip a baseball bat like that. Nice work. Either way, it's interesting to see what they're going to do with this trailer or this game. Uh, Will Smith is at the helm of kind of all this stuff. And he's kind of got a, a reputation recently and of <laughs> of slapping Chris Rock and doing all these. He, he's, a, he's painted himself in a different picture now. And so a different light. And so who knows how this game is going to be. I feel like he's been waiting to release this game for a while. And, and he's trying to wait till this kind of talk about him has died, died down. Because this is kind of a strange time to release this game. And, and so I'm really interested to see what you guys think. If it's an April Fool's joke, who knows. But Undone is a new game from Will Smith. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts because this is a wild kind of game coming out of nowhere out of left field. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts. And if you are new to my channel, you want to play some games with me, I have a second channel called Resurrect. I'll put that here on the side. I'd love for you to join me there. I play Apex Legends almost every night. And uh, pretty soon I'll be streaming kind of more story-driven games and different stuff along the way. So I hope to see you guys there. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.